Shannon here and welcome back to the creation of Beauty is Art. Today I'm going to be talking about the Too Faced Let's Play eyeshadow palette. If you've been watching my YouTube channel for a while or you read my blog, you've probably figured out that I'm a fan of Too Faced. I absolutely love the whimsy, the cute themes, the packaging, and of course the actual products. I really, really love what they do, and not too long ago my husband and I were out and came across a little stand of Too Faced items, and there was something that caught my eye. Well, I'll be honest, everything caught my eye, I wanted everything, but this in particular, this is the Too Faced Let's Play palette. It was actually pretty affordable, it was like $36 Canadian, I believe, and it looks like a little, um, like a little Game Boy, <laughs> so you have like your little controllers, and it's like in a little tin, it's so cute, I just... I love the theme. This is perfectly nostalgic for me. Um, makes me think of when I was a kid and I was like playing on my little like Nintendo and everything. So very cute. So it says let's play and it says gamer girl at the bottom. So metal tin, race lettering, really cute and it has like a magnetic clasp. So this is great for me for like if I ever traveled. I love palettes like this because you know it's really sturdy but then it's also really compact and small. So love that for travel. And it has all the shade names on the back which is not my favorite, but again, this is a very compact item, so I'll deal with it. Um, the shade names are really cute and themed as well, so you have like Joystick, Multiplayer, 1-Up, Secret Level, Easter Egg, Don't Play Me, Fangirl, and Cheat Code. So definitely themed well, really, really cute. And if we actually look at the shadows, I'll try and get my mirror a little bit here. These are really warm, really wearable, and just so great for every day. So I'm going to insert some swatches so you can get a better idea of how this palette actually performs. As you can see, the shades are really beautiful and really easy to wear, which makes this, again, perfect for travel. The shades that I use for the look that I'm wearing right now, I use this shade on the bottom. It's like the deepest kind of like purple. And then I applied that shimmery kind of burgundy over top. Um, and I blend it out with this pink shade here, so just like the whole bottom row basically. And then I used the shade just on the top here um, that's really shimmery and pretty. That one is called Joystick. I use that on the inner corner and I also use it as a highlight on my cheeks. I don't know why, I'm just really into using different eyeshadows as highlights because I feel like it kind of ties the look together a little bit when you're pairing like the inner corner with your highlight. I don't know, that's just where I'm at right now, but I think it's really pretty, so shimmery, just gorgeous. I love that the shades are really wearable. So on the bottom you have sort of like purples and pinks and on the top you have sort of those metallic shades. So you have that really pretty matte shade here and there's a gorgeous gold that pairs nicely with it. Um, the only shade that I'm not as huge a fan of, and that is Multiplayer, and it is right there, yeah. And that is honestly just because it has a lot of fallout. It's really pretty, I think it looks great. Um, but when I actually use it, like dip my brush in it, there's a lot of fallout all over the actual palette um, and a little bit on the cheeks. So you're going to want to use either a really good primer for the face or do your foundation after if you're going to use that shadow. Which is, it's weird because all the other sort of shimmery shadows in this palette don't do that. It's just that one particular um, shadow for me. You can even kind of see like where I swatched it, it kind of gets like chunky at the end. So it's really pretty. It looks great. It's just very flaky so I would keep that in mind for sure definitely be careful when you're using that particular shade everything else I really like I like that there's a nice combination of shimmer and matte so you have sort of those base colors and then you have shades for blending and the crease and you know to darken things up but then at the same point you have you know some really pretty shimmery shades to kind of kick things up a notch so all in all I am really liking the let's play palette I think it's really fun travel friendly for sure Kind of just easy no-brainer kind of shade so I love that the only thing that I'm not keen on is the shade multiplayer and that's just because it's a little flakier than it needs to be I think it just sort of goes everywhere in the palette it's a little messier to apply where everything else I think is really kind of foolproof and really beautiful so definitely keep that in mind they had another um, palette in the display that was similar to this in terms of the like packaging and the size um, and I was also intrigued by that so we'll see. We'll see if that ends up on this channel at some point. Um, but yeah, I, I really like these small palettes. This is called the On The Fly Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I think just probably because it's so like easy to take with you. 
it was not super expensive really pretty really wearable shades and again sturdy packaging and just all in all impressed with it again I love the theme it's just a really cute little addition to my makeup collection so definitely sound off in the comment section below let me know if you have tried this particular palette or anything else um, from that line I would love to hear your thoughts on all of that good stuff and I will see you very soon with a brand new video and until then bye